Well, while we're all sitting around having our hair grow longer and playing video games, I thought, why not just a little throwback video to a classic 10 minute and one second rant? Now, I doubt I'll keep it to 10 minute and one second, but I will try. Now, H3H3 Productions, ran by Etha Klein and Ela Klein, have changed a lot over the years. This is undeniable. They've changed in many, many ways, but I think most of it is tied to their move to LA and the large influx of cash, though who knows, maybe they would have changed that way that much anyway. I'm not one to decide that uh, money always changes people. I've grown my finances over the last 15 years of my life. For the most part, I'm still the same. This is the same blue Carhartt hoodie I've had in my closet for years. It doesn't change everybody and it's not an excuse to be terrible. Now I saw him tweet something out this morning saying, I'm curious if billionaires are going to ride for America in the next 12 weeks and mass produce ventilators or if they will retreat until they're into their bunkers. We are about to find out if they have value to our society or not. This coming from multimillionaire Ethan Klein, who recently purchased a nearly $10 million Bel Air mansion with 7,500 square feet, six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, price $9 million. Now, of course, you have to have much more than $9 million in your bank account or in your net worth to purchase a $9 million home. Let's assume they put 20 to 30% down. Well, they put two to 3 million bucks down and obviously have a gigantic mortgage payment unless they paid in cash. Now, I am not here to uh, uh, critique somebody for having money or for having success. In fact, I am proud of everything that H3H3 H3 Productions has done on YouTube. They are, in a lot of ways, a success story. If you take out the whole where all the FUPA money go and where's the FUPA uh, uh, fund to help other creators. But for the most part, even if I disagree with a lot of their opinions like I do nowadays, I can still respect their hustle. I can respect that they have a clothing line and that they've been at the forefront of a lot of changes on YouTube. Even if they are now basically mailing it in and just talking for an hour and then having some intern cut it up into 10 minutes, 10 minute clips on YouTube. Now, look, you're entitled to bad take every once in a while. I've had them. And in fact, what Ethan Klein here is saying isn't necessarily an invalid question. It's about who is saying it. A multimillionaire is saying it with a net worth that exceeds $20 million. According to online reports, he goes on to continue to virtue single by saying, our businesses are shut down and all 20 of our employees are being paid their full salary and health insurance for the duration of this. I'm not really sure what I can do more than that. I don't have $130 billion with unlimited manufacturing capacity. See, clearly, uh, you know, look, I'm happy that he's doing that. You know, a lot of us are doing that. All my employees for exclusively games.com are still getting paid. My assistant's still getting paid. All my employees for my day job are still getting paid and none of them have been in the office in over a week. I'm not out online asking for digital bat pat backpats. That's what I'm supposed to do. Now, I'm not saying that Jeff Be Bezos couldn't do more, but the absolute entitlement is absolutely ridiculous. You can see what has he ever contributed to civ contributed to civilization? Uh, yes, he has quite a lot. America, Amazon revolutionized the entire world. I disagree with that, especially the USA. But now let's see that beautiful bald head jump into action for the greater good. The greater good. Curious language there, by the way. The greater good. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Nonetheless, multi-million dollar Ethan Klein continues to expect uh, Jeff Bezos to, I don't know, subscribe to socialism. I don't know. The point is, Ethan Klein's take is 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 fine if you're not a 20 million dollar person virtue signaling from your shower your ivory tower there's nothing more cringe than millionaires whining about billionaires like there's nothing more out of touch than that i suppose except for a bunch of millionaires singing a Beatles song and thinking they saved the world. I, I don't know. This has uh, brought a lot of people together out there, but also has failed in many, many ways. Now, Ethan Klein, what Ethan Klein doesn't understand clearly about the way Amazon makes money, they did not revolutionize the world in manufacturing. In fact, I highly doubt they have nearly unlimited manufacturing capacity. In fact, what Amazon did better than anyone else is logistics. That's how they won the war. They didn't manufacture the best widget. They figured out how to ship it the most efficiently and won that way. Then you can look at, they continue, by the way, what, what, what has Jeff Bezos done? That's right. He's done almost nothing, right? Except 
just a month ago donated 10 billion with a b billion dollars one of the largest charitable gifts in history that was february 17th 10 billion dollars i guess what was that not enough was was donating 10 percent of his entire net worth not enough i mean what what else do you want how about this amazon boosts hiring hire displaced restaurant workers and raise hourly pay that's right Amazon has now opened as a three as being reported three days ago. Amazon is hiring 100,000 new employees to support increased demand at the same time, raising its hourly pay rates. But what is Jeff Bezos doing? I suppose this is nothing. 100,000 jobs in a time and when this country is going to desperately need them because the economy will be shaped and molded in a different way after all of this. 100,000 jobs at Amazon, okay? Let's say on average, and I'm telling you that this is probably a low average, $40,000 a year. I have signs out in front of my local Amazon distribution center that have starting pay up to $18 an hour, which would be just under $37,000 a year. Certainly, many of these 100,000 will be entry level, but not all. So let's just take a low average of a $40,000 a year salary. That's just another $4 billion injected into the United States economy, supporting families across this great nation. So $10 billion in charity 30 days ago and $4 billion plus committed to new salary three days ago. But what could Jeff Bezos possibly be doing with his time? He needs to do more, especially with his unlimited manufacturing capacity, as Ethan would put it. And then off the podcast, which has some truly, truly nuclear bad takes, including criticizing Elon Musk for, quote, wasting time memeing. Let's take a look. Not all rich people are evil. Let's see what you can do for us. I mean, we're in a time of crisis. Our government mm -hmm. has, you know, screwed the pooch a little bit. on. Could the have testing. been better. Yeah. Let's see what you've got. Quiet from Jeff Bezos. This podcast was uploaded on March 19th. Two days after Jeff Bezos very publicly announced he would be opening up 100,000 jobs across this country. I feel like Jeff Bezos has a moral mm -hmm. responsibility to... No, he doesn't. Jeff Bezos does not have a moral responsibility to anything his society that has built him up and made him yeah because we all just gave him money willingly he didn't provide a service for that we just all gave him our money the wealthiest man to ever live he need, where is jeff bezos mm -hmm. opening jobs where is jeff well so far amazon is still working too which doesn't make any sense yeah because the, you, all the worker why wouldn't it make sense Logistics and keeping the supply chain moving are very, very important things. I understand taking things seriously, but this whole shut the world down is easy when you have 20 plus million dollars in the bank. They can't just shut it all down because a few people are a little worked up, all right? If, you're, if they need to, so be it. But they're still doing a very vital job, by the way. And shout out to all the UPS, FedEx, and truck drivers out there that are keeping people out of the stores and getting the items that they need delivered to their doors dude it's not cool amazon's gonna shut down yeah. the warehouse once it's gonna happen it's gonna shut down i don't think so i don't think so we'll see i might be wrong but he's got all of his workers working overtime i've seen lots of articles of people complaining that the conditions mm -hmm. are not safe these are fair criticisms of the working condition at amazon they need to be better. I understand that and agree with it. Now, this next part is particularly out of touch, but let's let's and normally Ela doesn't have the bad takes, but but just listen to this. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk could have been a superhero, but he's too busy like memeing on Twitter. I feel like Elon's fallen a little bit. Yeah, he's only running SpaceX, Tesla, and several other side companies. But yeah, he's just doing nothing. Oh, by the way, I might, I don't know, I'm sure like two seconds of research, you probably could have found this out too. 
but he also offered to manufacture masks. Here we go, publicly on Twitter for everyone to see. Elon Musk, we will make ventilators if there's a shortage. 10 p.m. March 8th. So what? You know, please repurpose your factory and make ventilators, which are needed ASAP. I'm a Tesla owner and love the company. You'd have to stop being an idiot. You have to stop being an idiot about this. This is a massive disaster. Ask doctors in the field. He simply says, give me an example. Show me where they are. Tech billionaire Elon Musk offered to produce ventilators in the event of a shortage. Shocking. He went on to indicate that he would direct the ventilators be sent to hospitals acutely affected by the potential shortage. Quote, Tesla makes cars with sophisticated HVAC systems. SpaceX makes spacecraft with life support systems. Ventilators are not difficult, but cannot be produced instantly. Which hospitals have these shortages you speak of? He tweeted in response to a question from 538's Nate Silver. I mean, you have, again, Nate Silver... There's a shortage now. How many are you making? I don't I don't understand the entitlement uh, coming from these people. Ethan and Neil Klein, again, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. I'm just pointing out that, one, you don't even know how Amazon works. Two, that you aren't even doing the most basic cursory search to see what Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are doing here. And three, how profoundly out of touch do you have to be to not know that people don't want to hear millionaires whining about billionaires? Ridiculous. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. Wash your hands. Have some fun playing some video games. We'll talk to you again real soon.